Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue improving the phone messages search protocol that I did as part of my phone messages example, the enterprise version of that. Now you've seen me do the search vertical here using the search result web part. That is a very powerful web part, but there's no no code version of modifying the managed properties or the mappings of those managed properties into what's going to be displayed here. So I'm going to use another web part instead. I'm going to remove the search result web part, just delete that. And instead, I'm going to use the content search web part. So I'm adding that going into to the content roll-up section here and finding the content search web part. And now, uh, one tricky bit here is getting that in the right order because I want it to be in the same place as the other one was. So I'm going to drag and drop these and sometimes it doesn't really stick, but just be persistent with it and it should usually work. Now you see I have the search box, I have the search navigation, and then I have the content search. Now I'm going to customize that a bit. So I'm going to change that it shows 50 and it shows them with a list with paging if need be. And I'm going to use the display template two lines for each item. And here you see I can do the property mappings. If I click that checkbox there, I can modify the mappings. And here you see I have the path, I have the title, I have the line one, which is uses the title field and the line two, which is empty as for, for now. But I'm going to use the name of caller manage property here and just apply that now i'm not going to get any results yet because i haven't really pointed out what query i'm going to use but i'm going to do that now so not recently changed items but items matching a content type not in the current site collection but in, the, in my entire tenancy and then i'm going to select the content type down here so the contoso phone message and there are my five phone messages and then just ok and publish the page. And as you see, I get a somewhat nicer display of these phone messages here with the phone number and the person who called. So that shows you how to replace the search result web part with the content search web part and customizing how the managed properties of the search results should be displayed. Thank you for watching this demonstration.